Seb, thank you so much for your time this morning. Gee, things got fiery. The tables were turned on Donald Trump. He won easily against Biden, but it wasn't so easy against Kamala Harris. Well, yes, when it's not a debate, but you're actually uh, three against one. I mean, just the absolute outrage of the ABC fact checkers not moderating, but attacking President Trump seven <laughs> times and uh, Kamala Harris, despite her egregious lies, not once. So, look, this is what we're used to. That's why the president calls them the fake news industrial complex. But at the end of the day, she didn't really come over as very sympathetic, more like the school mom out of, you know, peanuts. <laughs> Snoopy the cartoon, the wah, wah, wah. Oh, so I don't think Sebastian. it moved. The, I don't, no, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> I, she, I didn't, mean, she didn't move. She wasn't sympathetic. Mm. And at the end of the day, we have 54 days until the election. And his base is solid. He's got at least 74 million people on his side. Likewise, the Democrat okay. loony base, okay. pretty solid. Oh, so come when on, you win all... elections, you win elections in the middle. I don't think the, move, the needle moved to either side last night. Which, you know, it might be the best way to frame it from a Donald Trump perspective. But, I mean, you talk there about the fact-checking. They're eating the dogs. Babies are being killed after they're born. I mean, some pretty wild claims by Trump. Every single one true of them. I, I oh. just had somebody on my show, the, the, head, the head of uh, justinnews.com, and you can go to his website right now. In the state of Minnesota, of which Tim Waltz is the governor, eight, eight children were killed after a botched abortion after the ninth month. So this okay. isn't stuff he pulls out of his backside. These are facts. As soon as they said, that's not true, President Trump, about the illegals eating animals, domesticated animals, I said, well, maybe you should read the police report All of right, the incident is, this... with the dispatcher's <laughs> audio that I posted on my Twitter feed. So, you know, either you believe... In mm. fact, or you're just working as a hack for Kamala. Or, as Trump's people say, alternative facts, right? How does he turn things around now? I think the general consensus is that things didn't go his way during that debate. How does he get back the momentum now? Well, look, it's like a famous politician once said, it's about the economy, stupid. We've got less than two months left, and I've told the campaign, I've told President Trump, it's not about complicated policies or tax rate percentages or the Federal Reserve. It's about one thing, that costs for food under Biden and Harris have increased an average of 40 percent. When we left the White House, the average mortgage in America was $800 a month. Today, under Harris-Biden, it is $1,700. People, there was this Isn't uh, it interesting, though, Sebastian, interview. that that isn't the key takeaway from the debate yesterday, I guess? And this is the thing. It probably needs a little you, bit more you discipline. You asked me what President is, Trump... Are, are you listening? It, are you, do you want me to answer your questions or not? You it, asked me what President Trump should do. I just told you. Yeah, what, what exactly. You just told me. There's no problem. Are they going to debate again? Should they debate again? Oh, absolutely. Kamala's not going to agree. I mean, she only has a downslide after yesterday. She thinks she's so bratty, got the vibes, it went so well. I guarantee you, whatever the campaign is saying publicly, it, hell will freeze over before Kamala Harris actually debates President Trump again. All right. Well, let's hope there is another one because it was quite something to watch. Ashton, thanks for joining us today. Carl. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?